Good morning. It is now 11.30. I've been sleeping in the car. This nice spot. It was minus 26 last night. I couldn't find call the place. And then this morning it was nine, minus 24. So pretty good run. Yes, also fairly good results. It was uh, sucking uh, 1.95 kilowatt on average. And uh, to when in the morning hours when we had cold battery, it was um, 2.44 uh, kilowatt just maintaining that uh, heat. So I think that's not too bad in minus 24 with a heat pump, but I will actually try an E-Nero. Uh, I'm going to pick it up today and then try E-Nero tonight. So that we need to compare this. Yeah, see how it goes. But now uh, we have to go back to Oslo. You see the battery has been sucked down to 4.75, but actually through the night it did maintain the heat in the battery otherwise it would go to below freezing temperature so the car had to spend extra energy heating up the battery from now now and then but uh, we're going to navigate to uh all of the supercharger we have to check out um the 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 ionity charger now hopefully it's also cold over there right now and i will try to do that trick to heat up the plug okay now it says minus 24 okay so when will it will it preheat Huh, there's no state or action going on. Where was that fault again? Let me check here. First, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, well, re region temporary reduced. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, let me check here. How much region do we have? Oh, <laughs> we, have, we have no region, but we still have 230 kilowatt power output. And the car is now sucking. Wait, is that, is that higher than usual? That is higher than usual. It's only it only needs to suck about one, uh, two kilowatt. It seems like it it pulls another uh, over a kilowatt extra, or roughly one kilowatt extra to heat up the battery. Or I could be wrong, but I'm not sure. But it doesn't run the stators now. I guess it figures out that it doesn't have to, or it's too early. Yeah, it's, maybe it's too early. We are 43 kilometers away. Huh. Okay, interesting. But let's get going then. <laughs> Just for fun now. Whoa, what is that? I tried to plug it in here at the UK. Fortram charger, I recharge. Look, it's not, it says charging, but it's not charging the battery yet. Whoa, it's lighting now. So it just quickly heats up the battery. See, stators are running at six kilowatt for now. And also some, uh, I guess, oh yeah, yeah. You see, it doesn't suck anything from the, from the battery because it takes everything from this charging station. So, <laughs> okay, battery is heating up. Let's see if we let's see how long it takes before before we get some juice here. So you see, this is um, a worst case scenario. You ch you park your car out in the in the bush somewhere, right, during the night, and then in the morning you think, oh, I'm gonna fast charge. <laughs> nope, nicht laden for you. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. What you should do is, like I did actually yesterday, was to charge up enough in the evening when the, when the battery was nice and warm. Don't, you know, the worst thing you could do is leave the car with, let's say, 10% overnight, and then you think you're gonna charge in the morning. That is a bad idea. <laughs> but let's see now, one kilometers per hour, really? Mm. Still no, nothing going on here. Uh, okay, let's wait a couple of minutes. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes and uh, still what, one kilometer per hour. <laughs> okay, one. So, but I just remember now that if we, actually, if the battery was pretty cold and we arrive with 10%, we will get some decent power. Uh, the reason why we don't get uh, much at all right now is because we are at 60%. So you see the battery has, has heated up to uh, six degrees, but uh, let's not waste time. Let's go get over to Alba instead. Oh yeah, a nice day for hammering here in uh, Folldal. Clear sky, mm, cold. Ooh, it started preheating now. Ha, 40 kilometers before supercharger, yeah. And I have some region already. You see that little uh, charging brake we had took, uh, have, now I have 28 kilowatt region. All right, all good. We are now at Aldal at the Ionity, Ionity Charger. So uh, the consumption here was 248, <laughs> despite downhill because it was preheating a lot. But look here, we are getting only three kilowatt. We're supposed to get way more. 
So uh, uh, let's try to do the trick. I have to cool. Uh, I have to quickly heat up this part. I mean, it's it's IP67 or whatever certified. So you could just pour hot water in it. But I, I think I will use a bag because um, I only told me that there is some contact um, grease here. So at least this. In the plug, you don't want to pour water there because then you will wash away the grease and then you get poor, less contact. So you can check here, but oh, 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 on, let me go on this side. You can check how many kilowatt the charger is delivering. And then you see it delivers 11 kilowatt only. You can check on detail here. So let's quickly heat up the thing. Okay, let's see. 13 kilowatt. Okay, I have this one. Let's try to put it. I'm not sure where to put it. Oh, this, oof, wow, this, this water is pretty hot. So you have to try to heat up a sensor somehow. Not sure where it is. I'll pay attention to the, oh, this, this. Just keep it like this. I'm not sure uh, if it's on the bottom side or the top side or the whatever, but yeah, just have it like this for a little bit. See what happens now. Okay, I waited a little bit now, went to the restroom, came back, 14 kilowatt. It's barely going up. So 14 is what goes into the battery and then the, the battery heat that was running. So you can see that right now. Okay, it's outputting 22, so it's slowly going up. So I put it here. I don't know if it helped or not. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe it takes longer to reach the core of it. But let's get over to the supercharger and see what speed we're supposed to get then. Oh, she, we have a little problem here. I don't know what the heck is wrong, but look here. I try unlock charge port. You heard a little click, it lights up. But I can't I can't get the I can't get the, the plug out. It seems like the pin or something is frozen. Never experienced this before. I charged we charged yesterday, no problem. The only difference is that now I pour water here. Well you see there's a little bit of water here, but that shouldn't affect it really. This is so weird. It shouldn't really Affect, I don't know what mechanism is go, went wrong here, but uh, uh, I can't get that plug, plug out and it, it has been unlocked. Okay, now the, the light disappeared. Let's try again now, you see? Unlock charge port. You hear a little click? But, and I don't want to pull too hard because if you pull too hard, you might, be, you might pull out parts of the, of the, the port, port plug. So, um, what I heard the trick you can do if you have frozen charge port is that you know the air will actually leak out through through the, the gaps here and here it's been designed like that to melt to melt everything and also the air has been designed to leak through here but what you have to do then is you have to fold the seat because then hot air will come back here eventually oh maybe I should dig things out a little bit um, yeah I should speed up things but look here uh, the trick is to put it on high also put the rear defroster on and that might be able to help it but it might not be on the car side it might be on the ionity plug side I don't know really uh, we are stuck now we can't move the car <laughs> what the heck we are at the supercharger now. It did work. So the trick, you have to fold the seat, clear any stuff in the trunk so the airflow goes in the back there. And then it pushes the air out, out through the charge port. I think uh, the, the lock is in the car, not in the in the plug. I don't think the plug, the Type 2 or CCS can lock. Yeah, uh, I, because I think uh, Chalamo can also lock on the charger side plus the car side. But look at the speed now. Oh yeah, 75 kilowatt. <laughs> okay, so um, now we just have to charge enough so I can go to Elverum. Hmm. We are on the move now. So over here it's minus 23 degrees Celsius and we charge to about 55%. I realize that we have more than enough. Uh, the car here estimates where, maybe because of the pre yeah, previous leg, that could be it. Because I bet the group planner claims that we only need 35% plus a little buffer of course to reach Elverum. So yeah, the battery has been heated up to 31-ish degrees Celsius, all good. Uh, so this is a Monday morning, so we shouldn't have too much traffic here. Wow, nice drive. 
we are now in Stor Arvedal and it's minus 18 degrees over here. I was actually stuck in a little bit of stau earlier, right off the Alvedal. They were digging up some stuff. So that's why the average speed is a bit low. But uh, 165 watt hour per kilometer. Wow. Not too shabby, right? Well, the battery has cooled down to 16 degrees now. So uh, we can uh, pull a little bit more, but then it's, it's the end for that extra heat. So yeah, uh, let's just enjoy the nice landscape over here. Who said that Gubbronsdal is only... Or that only Gubbronsdal is beautiful? Österdal is also really beautiful, huh? Don't you think? We are 47 kilometers away from uh, Elverum Supercharger and preheating has started. Wow! That early, I guess because the battery is cold. So the consumption was 167 just uh, a minute ago. Now it's 100, already 100... <laughs> well, going uphill now, but uh, yeah. So at least we have below 170 consumption before the preheat started. So um, this is, um, of course, the downside, well, or the upside that it preheats, but it sucks a little bit more power. So yeah, and I can show you here also, uh, the battery is now at 9.75 degrees. It's quite cold. It's 15, uh, minus 15 degrees Celsius outside. So it's getting uh, warmer. <laughs> Sounds weird, right? Well, exactly. Technically, it's getting warmer now the, the further south we go. Or less cold, maybe. That sounds better. We are finally here at Elvedum Supercharger. And, you know, this was the, f the only non-shared stall. What happens then? A guy comes randomly to my stall and now suddenly I get only 89 kilowatt. I'm supposed to get over 100 kilowatt. I was supposed to get 130 kilowatt. Oh, man, why does it always happen with me? I was, I'm kind of running out of time because I have to get over to... Uh, yeah, well, actually, I have an idea. How about I go to Nebines? Uh, well, I could move stalls here, but... Uh, yeah. No, I can't go to Nebines yet. Okay, okay. Uh, wait, that guy's unplugging. Okay, you see, see, I can take that stall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could you see here? Two and two cars, they are evenly spaced out so you don't share stalls. So most people, they know about this, I think. Except for that guy. Well, I mean, he had to take one shared stall and just happened to be me. But I moved from that location, I mean, from that stall to here. And now 126 kilowatt. Yeah, all good. So let's see. Um, now I have a problem because I have to get over to... Uh, what? You gotta be kidding me. No, no, he's, he's plugging in over there. Okay, he's plugging in there. I have to get over there before 4.30 because I'm picking up an e-nero. Uh, yeah. Okay, I have to hammer it there <laughs> because uh, they close at 4.30. But we need, we need uh, how much do we need? 50% something? Shit, we need to stay here another 10, 15 minutes. All right, I think we have enough now. We should have about 10% margin, so good to go. Let's hope we can make it there in time. We are now at Tongen, and uh, well, it turns out that um, Battle then they close at 5, not 4.30. <laughs> so no stress then. Yeah, I wouldn't have to hammer too hard. Yeah, I will have plenty of time then. And I can also save some energy because first I thought, oh, I can go to Nebenes and charge it, but nah, I guess I'll go straight to, uh, to Batlosten. We are now back in Oslo. So um, uh, from uh, Elverum to Lønskog here was 186 watt hour per kilometer with 2% error. And then total for the trip was 204. Okay, not too bad considering how cold it was outside. So I guess Octoval for the win, but we will see now. Eniro. In the following episode but okay e nero is a larger car you know so yeah i don't expect the same efficiency but still we will see now how insanely efficient e nero is compared to other cars in the same class for example ipace eqc mg set the cv the e nero will beat the heck out of them in efficiency so but okay okay so anyway interesting trip <laughs> yeah did some mistake at uh, at the uh, ionity uh, alvdal 
the whole bag there i mean if you want to copy my idea about the whole ba plastic bag at least make sure it's it's tight and it's not leaking out a little bit of water <laughs> but i think that's going to be it for now hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later